Good morning ladies and gentlemen. In this video, we are going to cover the current affairs of second week of September month. If you appreciate our efforts, please share this video. For mobile optimized PDF, please install GK Today Academy app. For Hindi current affairs, please subscribe to GK Today Hindi channel. And for infographics used in our current affairs series, please follow the Twitter account. Link is given in the description as well as in the pinned comment. Now, let's start. Freedom fighter Hiralal Sharma, who passed away recently, was from which district of Rajasthan? Right answer is Bikaner. So recently, freedom fighter Mr. Hiralal Sharma passed away. He was from Bikaner in Rajasthan. He took active part in freedom struggle. The 28th cycle of Indo-Thai Corpet has started in which city? Right answer is Bangkok. So the 20th cycle of India-Thailand coordinated patrol between the navies of two countries has started in Bangkok in Thailand. Abdul Qadir, who passed away recently, was the renowned leg spinner of which country? Right answer is Pakistan. So Pakistan's leg spinner, Mr. Abdul Qadir Khan, passed away recently in Lahore. Who is the head of task force to draw project pipeline for infrastructure? Right answer is Mr. Rajiv Kumar. So the union government has constituted a task force for drawing up national infrastructure pipeline. The task force will be headed by Mr. Rajiv Kumar and this task force will identify technically feasible and economically viable infrastructure projects. Which country has been declared free from avian influenza? Right answer is India. So India has been declared free from avian influenza that is H5N1. Which member countries of WHO Southeast Asia region have successfully controlled Hepatitis B? Right answer is BBNT that is Bangladesh, Bhutan, Nepal and Thailand. So Bangladesh, Bhutan, Nepal and Thailand have recently became the first four countries in WHO's Southeast Asian region to have successfully controlled Hepatitis B. Which Indian organization has released a report titled Mid-Monsoon 2019 Lightning? Right answer is IMD. So recently, CRO SPC under IMD has released a report Mid-Monsoon 2019 Lightning. CRO SPC stands for Climate Resilient Observing Systems Promotion Council. Now this is a first of its kind report on lightning incidents in our country. As per this report, Odisha recorded the highest number of lightning strikes in our country. The Potion Mah 2019 has been started with which mass media campaign? Right answer is Eat Right India. So recently, Union Health Minister Dr. Harshwardhan has kick-started Potion Mah 2019 with Eat Right India movement. The WHO Southeast Asia region has set target of which year to eliminate measles and rubella? Right answer is 2023. So WHO, that is World Health Organization, Southeast Asian region member countries have resolved to eliminate measles and rubella by 2023. Which European country has decided to phase out controversial weed killer glyphosate by 2023? Right answer is Germany. So Germany has decided to phase out controversial weed killer glyphosate by the end of 2023. Now it should be kept in mind that glyphosate is popular in India. However, there are concerns that it may cause cancer. Earlier, Austria became the first European member country to ban glyphosate use in July 2019. And now Germany has decided to phase out glyphosate by 2023. Which city is the host of international conference Angan? Right answer is New Delhi. So the international conference Angan held in New Delhi. It was organized by Bureau of Energy Efficiency. This conference was organized for energy efficiency in building sector. Angan stands for Augmenting Nature by Green Affordable New Habitat. Who won the 2019 edition of Men's Single US Open tennis title? Right answer is Mr. Rafael Nadal. So Mr. Nadal from Spain has won the 2019 edition of men's single US Open tennis title. This is his fourth US Open title and overall 19th Grand Slam trophy. He is one step behind from Mr. Roger Federer who has won 20 Grand Slam trophies. What is the theme of 24th World Energy Congress? 
राइट आंसर इज एनर्जी फॉर प्रोस्पेरिटी सो अबू धाबी इन दुबई इज द होस्ट ऑफ ट्वेंटी फोर्थ वर्ल्ड एनर्जी कांग्रेस एंड द थीम ऑफ दिस कांग्रेस वॉज एनर्जी फॉर प्रोस्पेरिटी एशियाज फर्स्ट फिफ्थ जनरेशन वी आर बेस्ड एडवांस्ड ड्राइवर ट्रेनिंग सिम्युलेटर सेंटर वॉज लॉन्च इन विच सिटी राइट आंसर इज चेन्नई सो रिसेंटली एशियाज फर्स्ट फिफ्थ जनरेशन वर्चुअल रियलिटी बेस्ड एडवांस्ड ट्रेनिंग सिम्युलेटर सेंटर वॉज लॉन्च इन चेन्नई यूनेस्को हैज टाइड अप विद विच इंडियन स्टेट टू प्रमोट्स इट्स इंटेंजिबल कल्चरल हेरिटेज राइट आंसर इज राजस्थान सो रिसेंटली यूनेस्को हैज टाइड अप विद राजस्थान टू प्रमोट इंटेंजिबल कल्चरल हेरिटेज ऑफ द स्टेट दिस प्रोजेक्ट विल बी इंप्लीमेंटेड इन द फोर डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ राजस्थान दीज फोर डिस्ट्रिक्ट आर जोधपुर बाड़मेर जैसलमेर एंड बीकानेर द टीम ऑफ विच टेलीस्कोप हैज वोन द ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी ओस्कर्स ऑफ साइंस राइट आंसर इज इवेंट होराइजन टेलीस्कोप सो द साइंटिस्ट टीम ऑफ इवेंट होराइजन टेलीस्कोप हैज वोन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी ब्रेक थ्रू प्राइज इन फंडामेंटल फिजिक्स द टीम वोन दिस प्राइज फॉर द फर्स्ट इमेज ऑफ सुपरमेसिव ब्लैक होल नाउ दिस प्राइज इज ऑल्सो नोन एज ओस्कर्स ऑफ साइंस विच कंट्री इज द होस्ट ऑफ मल्टीनेशन एक्सरसाइज टी एस सी एन टी आर ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन राइट आंसर इज रशिया सो रशिया इज द होस्ट ऑफ मल्टीनेशन वार गेम्स एक्सरसाइज टी एस सी एन टी आर ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन वॉट इज द थीम ऑफ ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन एडिशन ऑफ इंटरनेशनल लिटरेसी डे multilingualism so every year on 8th of september international literacy day is observed and the theme is literacy and multilingualism which state government has decided to set up a time bank right answer is madhya pradesh so the happiness department of madhya pradesh has decided to set up a time bank the first such time bank was set up in japan in 1973 under the scheme the people who have the time can also volunteer to help needy people therefore this time bank will enable person to person person to agency or agency to agency transactions who has won the 2019 edition of women single us open tennis title right answer is miss bianca andrescu so miss bianca andrescu has won the 2019 us open tennis tournament by defeating miss serena williams and with this she became the first canadian to win a grand slam singles title india's first ever helicopter summit was recently held in which city right answer is dehradun so india's first ever helicopter summit held in dehradun and it was organized by union ministry of civil aviation 68th session of northeastern council was held in which state right answer is assam so the 68th session of northeastern council held in guwahati in assam it was inaugurated by union home minister mr amit sa viru krishnan who passed away recently was a renowned indian classical dancer of which form right answer is kathak so mr viru krishnan the bollywood actor and renowned kathak dancer passed away recently who is the head of committee to oversee bifurcation of jammu and kashmir right answer is sanjay mitra so recently union government has constituted a three member committee to oversee the bifurcation process of jammu and kashmir the committee will be chaired by former defense secretary mr sanjay mitra india is the co-host along with which country at 8th asean ministerial energy round table right answer is uae so india is the co-host along with uae at 8th asean ministerial energy round table in abu dhabi and this conference was attended by Petroleum and Natural Gas Minister Mr Dharmendra Pradhan the 25th senior women's national football championship has kicked off from which state right answer is Arunachal Pradesh so the 25th edition of senior women's national football championship started in Arunachal Pradesh what is the theme of 2019 edition of world suicide prevention day right answer is working together to prevent suicide so every year on 10th of september World Suicide Prevention Day is celebrated and the theme was working together to prevent suicide which team has clinched 2019 Duleep Trophy title right answer is India Red so India Red won this title by defeating India Green and Mr Abhimanyu Eswaran was adjudged as the player of the match 
so india red is the winner of 2019 dulip trophy title the indo lanka maritime fleet exercise slin ex 2019 has started in which city right answer is visakhapatnam so the 7th edition of bilateral maritime exercise between india and sri lanka held in visakhapatnam in andhra pradesh the first conference on military medicine for sco member states held in which city right answer is new delhi so the first conference on military medicine for sco members held in new delhi indian railways has launched its first ever fun zone for kids in which railway station right answer is visakhapatnam so recently indian railways has launched its first of its kind fun zone for kids at visakhapatnam railway station in andhra pradesh who has become the first bowler to take 100 wickets in t20 international cricket right answer is mr lasith malinga so mr lasith malinga from sri lanka became the first bowler to claim 100 wickets in t20 international cricket he surpassed pakistani bowler mr shahid afridi gorvi singhvi who became the world's youngest open water swimmer to cross the english channel is from which district of rajasthan right answer is udaipur so c is from udaipur and recently c became world's youngest open water swimmer to cross english channel who is the newly appointed chairman of press trust of india right answer is mr vijay kumar chopra so mr vijay kumar chopra the chief editor of punjab kesari group has been appointed as the chairman of press trust of india if we talk about pti it is a non profit cooperative and it was founded in 1947 which noted writer has been chosen for 40th sarla puraskar right answer is mr pradeep das so renowned odia writer mr pradeep das has been selected for 40th sarla puraskar if we talk about odia it is the classical language which indian personality has been chosen for 2019 asia pacific golf hall of fame right answer is mr pawan munjal so dr pawan munjal the cmd of hero moto co has been chosen for the 2019 asia pacific golf hall of fame the 22nd edition of un committee on crpd was held in which city right answer is geneva so the 22nd edition of united nations convention on rights of persons with disabilities was held in geneva the national animal disease control program has been launched from which city right answer is mathura so recently prime minister mr modi launched national animal disease control program for eradicating foot and mouth disease it was launched from mathura in uttar pradesh it will be implemented for a period of 5 years till 2024 and the cost of this project is approximately 13000 crore who has been appointed as the principal secretary to prime minister mr modi right answer is mr pramod kumar mishra so mr pramod kumar mishra has been appointed as new principal secretary to prime minister he succeeded mr narpindra mishra which state government has decided to set up india's first international women's trade center right answer is kerala so kerala government has decided to set up india's first international women's trade center in kozhikode to promote women entrepreneurship scientists have used which telescope to discover water vapor in the atmosphere of super earth k218b right answer is hubble space telescope so recently based on the data provided by hubble space telescope it was discovered that water vapor may be present in the atmosphere of super earth k218b if we talk about hubble space telescope it is nasa's space telescope if we talk about k218b it is an exoplanet and it is eight times the mass of earth and known as super earth which indian diplomat has been bestowed the uae's first class order of jayad second award right answer is mr navdeep singh suri so recently uae president bestowed first class order of jayad second award on indian ambassador mr navdeep singh suri amit sharma who has created history by making world's biggest static website chiefflightsall.com is from which city right answer is delhi so mr amit sharma from delhi was in news as 
he created history by making world's biggest static website chiefflightsol.com he is from delhi rajshekhar who passed away recently was the veteran actor director of which regional cinema right answer is tamil so mr rajshekhar passed away recently he was veteran tamil actor and director he passed away in chennai in tamil nadu india's second riverine multimodal terminal was built on which river right answer is ganga so india's second riverine multimodal terminal has been inaugurated by prime minister mr modi in sahib ganj in jharkhand it was constructed by inland waterways authority of india it is under ministry of shipping now india's first multimodal terminal was built at varanasi who is the author of book savarkar echoes from the forgotten past right answer is mr vikram sampath so mr vikram sampath is the author of book savarkar echoes from the forgotten past if we talk about few other books which were in news recently the big billion startup is a book by mr mihir dalal sri devi girl women superstar is a book by mr satyarth nayak lessons life taught me unknowingly is autobiography of mr anupam kher my life my mission is the autobiography of your guru baba ramdev and game changer is the autobiography of mr shahid afridi niti ayog has selected which company to set up india's first digital capability center right answer is mckinsey so recently niti ayog has selected mckinsey to set up india's first digital capability center which country has become first in asia to roll out plain cigarette packaging right answer is thailand so thailand became the first country in asia to roll out plain cigarette packaging and in 2012 australia became first such country to introduce plain packaging the idea behind plain packaging is to discourage smokers from smoking gurugram police has tied up with which tech giant for traffic updates right answer is google so recently gurugram traffic police has tied up with google for dissemination of traffic related information ronaldo latin jam is associated to which sports right answer is cycling so mr ronaldo latin jam from india has won his fourth gold medal at 2019 track asia cup competition this competition held in igi stadium in new delhi mr ronaldo latin jam is associated to cycling so these were the most important current affairs of second week of september thank you and that's all for the day